Just in case you forgot how Donald Trump handled the coronavirus, I pulled up some clips from the Lincoln Project to remind us of what Trump's presidency was like in the midst of the health crisis that killed over a million Americans and more than 15 million people worldwide. Just in case you forgot, here are some reminders. The disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute, and is there a way we can do something like that? Uh, by injection. We have it totally under control. One person coming in from China is uh, going to be just fine. We have it very well under control. My administration will take all necessary steps to safeguard our citizens from this threat. A lot of people think that goes away in April. I think it's going to work out fine. We have it very much under control. We're very close to a vaccine. Because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. And this is their new hope. Unfortunately, one person passed away overnight. You take a, a solid flu vaccine, you don't think that would have an impact or much of an impact on corona? Anybody that needs a test gets a test. It will go away. Just stay calm. I don't take responsibility at all. It's something that we have uh, tremendous control over. Well, we're not going to let the cure be worse than the problem. I hope we can do this by Easter. The CDC is advising the use of non-medical cloth face covering. So it's voluntary. You don't have to do it. Just minutes after a Fox News report on the demonstrations, the president began tweeting, liberate Minnesota, liberate Michigan, and liberate Virginia. And I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out. Is there a way we can do something like that by injection inside? Or This is going to go away. This is going to go away without a vaccine. We have met the moment and we have prevailed. Many of these people aren't very sick, but they still go down as a case. The virus is uh, abating, dying out. The Chinese virus, Kung Flu, I have done a phenomenal job with it. The reason we have more cases than other countries is because our testing is so much. Kung Flu. I think that at some point uh, that's going to sort of just disappear. We are likewise getting under control. We show cases. 99% of which are totally harmless. We want to get our schools open. I didn't listen to my experts. We have therapies and we have vaccines. You're losing a lot of lives by keeping things closed. So we're at about 135,000 and we'll be at somewhat higher than that by the time it, it ends. It will probably, unfortunately, get worse before it gets better. That's the way it is. 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 The Lincoln Project is responsible for the content of this advertising. Can we afford to give Trump a do-over? Just in case you forgot. There's mourning in America. Today, more than 60,000 Americans have died from a deadly virus Donald Trump ignored. With the economy in shambles, more than 26 million Americans are out of work. The worst economy in decades. Trump bailed out Wall Street, but not Main Street. This afternoon, millions of Americans will apply for unemployment. And with their savings run out, many are giving up hope. Millions worry that a loved one won't survive COVID-19. There's mourning in America. And under the leadership of Donald Trump, our country is weaker and sicker and poorer. And now, Americans are asking, if we have another four years like this, will there even be an America? Paid for by The Lincoln Project, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Just in case you forgot, here are some reminders from The Lincoln Project. So you want to know how I really feel about the coronavirus, Juan? If I get it, 
I'll beat it. I want to tell you the truth about the coronavirus. This is their their next uh, their next attempt to get Trump. This is yet another attempt to impeach the president. The fatality rate's just one percent. So who cares if it's ten times more lethal than the flu? The national left wing media playing up fears of the coronavirus. We're shutting down our country because of the cold virus. Coronavirus fear mongering by the deep state. The flu is showing much more of an impact on Americans than coronavirus. At worst, worst case scenario, it could be the flu. All the talk about coronavirus being so much more deadly doesn't reflect reality. The coronavirus is, is, is the common cold. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. There's a lot of people will have this, and it's very mild. Children are not really affected. Uh, they'll get better very rapidly. They don't even see a doctor. They don't even call a doctor. But I am far more concerned with stepping on a U.S heroin needle than I am getting the coronavirus. We can't err on the side of caution anymore. That's the strategy of losers. It's called the power of positive thinking. It's a great time to just go out, go to a local restaurant. Yeah, like it's actually the safest time to fly. This is the <laughs> best country in the world to get coronavirus. But maybe that's just me. You think we're bad for America? You think yeah. I'm bad for America? Yeah. The Lincoln Project is responsible for the content of this advertising. Identity theft is frustrating. With major data breaches exposing more and more personal and private data, you may have already dealt with email and social media hacks, stolen credit cards, and other violations. Theft of your personal data is shocking and can be debilitating. Rather than leaving security up to chance, you can proactively arm yourself against cyber crimes and reputation hijacking with Legal Shield's ID Shield an impressive online privacy and reputation management service that helps to ensure that your private information remains private. Get help monitoring your most important data for about the cost of a movie ticket. ID Shield protects your identity from every angle by watching your credit reports and scanning the dark web and alerting you of any changes or potential misuse of your personal data. The monitoring services provide full service support, alerting you if any discrepancies in your personal data are found, notifying you if your info is used in new applications, warning you of any privacy concerns with your social media accounts, and informing you if a sex offender moves into your neighborhood. And with additional service partners, they provide complete multi-device protection against ransomware, viruses, dangerous websites, and identity thieves, including mobile security for Android and iOS. They offer protection anywhere you connect, including hotels, cafes, offices, and schools to help block malicious activity, online fraud, and internet scams with the VPN Proxy One. ID Shield can even help you manage and encrypt passwords to give you control of your digital life if your identity is stolen, ID Shield's investigators are dedicated to restoring it to its free theft status by working with you one on one, doing whatever it takes for as long as it takes to restore your identity with Legal Shield's unlimited service guarantee. Legal Shield provides peace of mind so you can begin thriving. Take control of your privacy with ID Shield. Drink is an independent associate with Legal Shield. Visit us at drink.wearelegalshield.com or click the link below to get ID Shield through Legal Shield and help us continue to create media like the content you're watching. Coronavirus has now killed three times more Americans than 9-11. So what's Donald Trump been up to? Blaming the impeachment hearings for distracting him from preparing for the pandemic. I think it took a lot of, I, I see them going and saying about speed, well, I mean, I got impeached. In January, Trump's own senior advisor issued a memo warning him that coronavirus presented a grave threat to the United States. Days later, the World Health Organization declared it a global health emergency. Where was Trump? He wasn't distracted. He had plenty to do, like campaign rallies and golfing. In February, the virus spread to Europe. While Italy was shutting down and quarantines were being announced all over the world, Trump played more golf and packed thousands of people together. 
Sounds safe. The day before the first American died, where was Trump? Where do you think he was? At another rally. By March, the world was calling coronavirus a pandemic. Where was Trump? On Twitter, as usual, blaming everyone else. When Trump finally bothered to take it seriously, it was too late for 10,000 Americans and who knows how many more. Trump just didn't care. He still doesn't. He was never distracted. And Americans have been paying attention. Can we afford to give Trump a do-over? He's been up for 20 minutes. Just tell me he's okay. Where is he? Where's my baby? I want to see him right now. Larry. No hugging. No hugging, please. We're not going to hug nobody. Hi, Mom. It's okay. I'm okay. It's okay. But the doctors won't tell me anything. Could someone please explain what's going on? Okay, honey. You were in a very bad car accident. Yeah. And you bumped your head. And so about three and a half years have gone by. Yeah. Three and a half years? Yeah. You were in a coma. Yeah. And now it's 2020. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Did, did I miss anything interesting? What? Uh, uh, just you guys go. Uh, go ahead. Well, sweetheart, do you remember that our president is Donald Trump? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> we finally got a Republican back. Strong leader, boy. He's a strong leader. Supporting families. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, he's got a bunch of his own family working in the White House right now. Uh -huh. Bless their hearts, too. And as he promised, he's keeping the Mexicans out. So he actually built his wall. Uh, well, he... Hey, how'd he get Mexico to pay for it? I don't think I remember him saying that. And don't mention the kids in the cages. I'm not gonna. Kids? Yeah, I, I gotta admit, that, that didn't turn out the way he said it would. If I remember right, his, his wife was a, a, an immigrant. Oh, yeah. Isn't she pretty? Oh, oh, I just love all her <laughs> She's dresses. from one of those non-shithole countries. Yeah. And she was so strong when she found out that her husband was paying off one of those... Um, uh, porn stars. Exactly. A, a porn star. Oh. I guess we did want a, an outsider Republican. Yes, yeah. we did. <laughs> did he lose the evangelicals? Actually, no they didn't really say very much. You know, he eventually took a picture in front of a church with a, a upside-down Bible, and that helped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It did. Well, and we have race rats. Race rats? No, more like peaceful, everybody riots. Yeah, everybody good yeah. around. People yeah. in yeah. the street yelling for equal rights for mm -hmm. black people mm -hmm. again. <laughs> You know what? I have to admit, I do agree they deserve it because the police keep accidentally killing black people. Well, we can't support that. We're Republicans, not Klansmen. That's kiddo, right. kiddo. You know, they're, they're fine people on both sides. You believe that? I'm trying to. <clears throat> Trump was just making a point about fairness and there being two sides to every story, mm -hmm. especially when one is so terrible. That's right, keep it balanced. Just mm -hmm. like how he got himself impeached. Whoa, impeached? For what? For supposedly cahooting with the, with the Russians. Wow, the Republicans must have crushed him on that Russia stuff. Oh no, my love, they are loyal, good people. Mm -hmm. Well, especially that Mitch O'Connell. I thought we hated the Russians. We do, except we like Putin. Apparently, he turned good. I mean, let's be honest. Trump knew for a very long time that Putin and the Russians were paying off the Taliban's to kill us. Oh, the news networks must be just destroying him. Oh boy. Honey, we don't listen to them. Uh, we're we're the scientists. Yeah, it's fake news! Fake, fake news! news. Fake, fake news! Fake news! Oh, wait a minute. Uh, did you all become doctors? Why are y'all wearing masks? Well, Pumpkin, there is a virus killing people all over the world. Now, at first, Mr. Trump said it was just a hoax made up by the Democrats, but people kept getting sick. Mm. So then, Trump asked the doctors to figure out a way how to inject disinfectant oh. into everybody. Mm -hmm. But then finally, Trump took some medicine, although not the real kind, mm -hmm. not the real kind, mm -hmm. and now, 
Over 150,000 Americans are dead. I mean, nothing could be done about it, right? Excuse me. How do you know if you have the virus? <laughs> no, you don't. No. <laughs> no. I mean, we can't get tested. The president slowed that way down. But that was so that less people died from it. That's correct. Wait, what? Would you like a mask? Oh, God. Oh, oh honey, no. look at him. Hey, oh, don't, no. don't, don't you worry. The reason we elected him was for, so he could fix the economy. Yeah. That's exactly what mm -hmm. he did, right? He gave huge tax cuts to the rich folk who hire people. Mm -hmm. Oddly, they didn't hire people. Mm -hmm. Millions of people are newly unemployed, mm -hmm. including your father. Oh, <laughs> that's me, Mr. Mr. L job. Lost my damn job. Do you guys remember how nobody came to his party in Oklahoma? No. Where he's just talking about how he could drink water. Well, he did it, it well. Like, it was he like did a, do it. Good. It was an assist. You know what, Gary? We should go stay at Mar-a-Lago sometime. I bet we'd meet some oh. big shots. No, we can't afford that, honey. Oh, I forget. You know, my favorite, my favorite was that that time um, when in Puerto Rico, uh -huh. when it started raining, oh, right? Yeah. All the, so then Trump went down there and he threw them all free paper towels. Oh, that's just right. Chunk you know, that's exactly paper, paper, paper towels. And now you can't even find a paper towel. Oh, so exactly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know right. what we never did? What? Find out the meaning of kofefi, though. No, I think no. that's kofefi. Kofefi. That's the French see, version of it. Right. It. The Lincoln Project is responsible for the content of this advertising. Can we afford to give Trump a do-over?